the two sisters share one head. The older sister is named Kara, the younger sister is named Mia. Hundred years ago, their mom gave birth to them. Even though one head has two faces, their parents still decided to take care of them, to keep their secret from others. The two have never attended school. One day, a girl with no hair accidentally found out their secret. The older sister pulled her hair back to scare the girl away. The younger sister giggled with joy. When the girl shared the story of discovering a monster with others, they teased her, calling her the monster. Quickly, the girl covered her head with a scarf. As others were teasing and bothering her, the older sister hurried over, shooed them away with a stick. The girl was no longer scared of the sisters, and they eventually became friends. After many years, the sisters grew older, but still had to share one body. Who do you think will be more beautiful when they grow up? The girl was born with two faces. The older sister is named Kara. The younger sister is named Mia. Due to her unique appearance, when they went outside, they had to use scarves to cover their heads. One day, Kara and Mia encountered a boy. Both sisters developed feelings for him. However, Mia couldn't reveal her true self, could only greet him over the phone. When Kara went on a date with the boy, Mia had to conceal herself in her sister's hair. Just as Kara was about to disclose the truth to the boy, their mother suddenly emerged. Putting a halt to their interaction, Mia could only express her frustration through tears. One day, Kara's competitor unintentionally stumbled upon their secret. Upon finding Kara, she grabbed her hair, but found Kara's head only has one face. Where did the little sis go? Turned out, a few days ago, a wizard found them, said there was a way to separate them, so they came to a mysterious forest, got the seeds of red flowers. As long as the flowers bloom, the two can be separated. Separated Mia first time feeling the taste of freedom, but just as she saw her crush, wanted to go say hi. The two are back to one body again. It turns out the red flower only blooms at night. So Mia can only date her crush at night. But what she doesn't know, is that the person her crush likes, is her sister Kara. To completely separate from Kara, Mia came to the mysterious forest again, but was told only one person died. The two can completely separate. How will Mia choose? But after a total solar eclipse, they exchanged positions. Mia wants to have the body all to herself, so she bumps into walls every day. She even puts her head in a bucket. Unable to bear the two's fight, Lily goes to the forest for a solution, but gets drained of energy, turns into wood. Finally, Mia realizes, with Lily's blessing, the two sisters have their own body now, starting a new life. This spicy girl was beating up a lion. The lion was really mad but didn't fight back. It was because this family was pretty scary. Dad liked bullying horses. He clipped a horse's head with the door 10,000 times. The daughter enjoyed bullying sheep in the trunk. The son was the worst. He practiced breaks with a cute panda. The eagle told the animal manager about it. He was very angry. He instantly drove his shoe to find this family and decided to make them pay. The daughter got pressed under the trunk and got a back massage. The son got stuck in the front of the car to test the brakes. Dad saw and quickly locked the door, but the manager broke through the wall because the door was saved for dad. The old lady got scared and hid. The manager gave her a face massage to calm her down. In the end, this family dared not resist. They could only watch as the man took away the animals. Waiting for the bus. The girl's water broke, leaving a passing driver astonished. Oh my god, are you still pregnant? Amazing. During work hours, her water kept flowing. Colleagues, initially in a panic, hurriedly rushed to assist. Yeah, your water broke. Finally. No, I don't need to go. Well, uh, in that case, can you clean this up? Because that is, that's disgusting. Over time, they became so accustomed that some even used the amniotic fluid to wash their hands. Twenty years later, the hardworking girl became a senior sales manager. She still worked hard every day. Time flew, and in 40 years, she turned into a white-haired granny. On retirement day, she felt a sense of relief. After bidding a final farewell to her colleagues, she finally headed to the hospital to give birth. Despite the baby's large size, the granny nearly lost half her life. With a 200-kilogram baby, doctors being considerate, put reading glasses on the child. Like mother, like child, they both moved into a nursing home together. How do you think women can balance career and family. The old man tightened his skin with three pins and instantly looked 10 years younger. At 80 years old, he suddenly decided to find a companion and selected a beautiful woman from a matchmaking magazine. As he stepped outside, he noticed his hunched back. He gently touched it with a wire and under the strong current, his back instantly straightened. Seeing his long ear hair, he applied some super glue, waited for it to solidify, and then pulled it out forcefully with a mouthful of yellow teeth. 
he hurriedly applied some whitening agent, used a file to remove the dead skin from his feet, and then swiftly removed the doll's eyes and placed them on his own. By the time he stepped out, he had transformed into a handsome young man. He went on dates and vacations with his girlfriend. One day, unable to hold back a sneeze, his girlfriend's face skin fell off revealing that she was an old lady. This startled the old man. The pins on his neck burst open, and he reverted to his original appearance. Nonetheless, the two managed to come together successfully. The old lady pointed her finger. Grandpa's ashes turned into cookies, the boyfriend said. Luckily, it's not my grandpa. Whether it's a stuffed toy, a wallet full of cash, or photo frames, none could escape. Even the boyfriend's hot pepper water turned into cookies. The boyfriend took a bite, even tasted the flavor of the hot pepper water. Then, the two started a cookie-making plan. No matter what the boyfriend threw out, the girl turned them into cookies. Even the phones of passers-by turned into cookies. Oreo company wanted to hire the girl on the spot. Suddenly, the girl's little brother appeared. Before the girl could react, her little brother turned into a cookie, but the girl didn't have the power to change him back. The two could only tearfully eat the cookie of her little brother. Would you like to try this cookie? A man bought a coconut at the train station, but he found it couldn't fit through the gap. He awkwardly told the spicy girl it was because he didn't get the angle right, but her expression showed she didn't believe him. To save face, the man tried various angles. However, the gap was just too small. This amused the old man nearby. He even started mimicking the man's actions, facing everyone's mockery. The man tried even harder to pull it in, even using his feet. One hour later, he gave up and tossed the coconut away. But it hit a pole, bounced onto the old man's head, and ended up back in the man's hand. The spicy girl was stunned, surprised the man had succeeded. With a proud grin, he handed her the coconut and won her heart. So, if you were in this situation, how would you get the coconut in? In the future, if your weight is under 50 kilograms, you can fly, people happily soaring through the air, doing mid-air cartwheels, and then heading to the snowy mountains for some airborne jogging. But here's the catch, if you exceed the weight limit, no more flying for you. On the flip side, there's a woman who successfully sheds those pounds, and promptly embarks on a world tour. She zips across the Pacific, breezes past Hollywood, takes a peek at the snow-capped mountains, catches a glimpse of the sunset, all while enjoying her newfound airborne freedom. Meanwhile, others opt for the lucrative career of being delivery superheroes. Because, let's face it, nothing beats the income from turbocharged food delivery. This, folks, it's a commercial, can you guess what it's selling? This is the sneakiest baby in the world. While Grandpa was reading the newspaper, he hopped over and grabbed the bacon, closed his mouth when Grandpa saw him. Then, he took Grandpa's cookies, devoured them at lightning speed. By the time Grandpa put down the newspaper, the plate was already empty. A few days ago, the baby wanted to eat Grandpa's cookies, but Grandpa didn't agree. To get back at Grandpa, the baby stuffed the cookies under the armpit, then into the pants. After covering them in chocolate sauce, the baby put them back. But when Grandpa tasted them, so delicious, Put a little bite to it.